Hello and welcome to Smash Hit Sports. Today we're going to break down the college football national championship, previewing TCU and Georgia. Should be an awesome, awesome game. I actually can't wait for these two teams to match up. It's very rare where you get teams in the national championship that have strength on strength. And this is going to be one hell of a game. Georgia's scoring defense is fifth in the country. They are one of the best defensive units, if not the best defensive unit in college football. And they're going to match up incredibly well with TCU's high-powered offense. TCU's offense is actually fifth in scoring in the FBS. They average 41.1 points per game, which is insane considering where TCU came from. They were 5-7 and seven last year. This TCU team was not supposed to be in this situation, whereas Georgia, on the other hand, they're your defending national champions. They are supposed to be here. Um, they might not have been the favorites at the beginning of the season. I think Alabama was, but at the same time, Georgia is still Georgia. This is still a Kirby smart coach team. Um, you knew they were going to be damn, damn good. So let's get into talking for, well, we'll talk about the line first. The spread on this game is currently as it stands 12 and a half. TCU originally opened at a 13 and a half point underdog. They are now down to 12 and a half. This should be a really good game. Um, TCU has covered the spread quite a bit this season. They're very good against the spread. Georgia was streaky against the spread a little bit. They covered a lot early. Um, they had a three-game stretch where they didn't cover the spread and then covered a lot at the end um, as we went into the playoffs. They obviously didn't cover against Ohio State, but still have been great. Um, I am leaning TCU with the points here. I got it at 13.5, and, and I'm happy with that number. Um, I would still argue that 12 and a half is worth betting on. Um, should be a, a really, really good game. The over under the total for points scored in this game is currently sitting at 62 and a half. I'm going to take the over, but that is solely because I like points. Um, and who doesn't want to root for points in the national championship game? So there's a lot to break down here, but let's start with TCU and their offense. Max Duggan who was a Heisman finalist, um, I think he, I believe he was second in Heisman voting, has been nothing short of electric this year. You want to talk about a guy who puts it all out there for his team, like nuts on the table. This guy is so damn legit. And I know we talked about the pass catchers of Ohio State, how damn good they were. Emeka Buka, Marvin Harrison Jr. is obviously a household name. But when you get down to it, one of the best pass catchers in the country is lining up for TCU. Quinton Johnston could be the first wide receiver taken in the NFL draft this spring. And for good reason. I mean, the dude is absolutely unbelievable. Um, Georgia offensively doesn't have, I'm not going to say the same weapon. They have different types of weapons. Brock Bowers is obviously an unbelievable tight end. Um, he's going to be phenomenal whenever he does decide to go pro. Um, I believe he's a true sophomore, but he is, he's one of the best players in the nation. Um, the Horn Frogs, they have Quentin Johnston. The running back is hurt. I'm not sure if he is going to end up playing or not. Um, but we'll see. Um, their backup did a hell of a job against Michigan anyway. So I'm not super, super concerned about it. Um, Georgia's running backs are really impressive. Kenny McIntosh is good. Uh, 779 rushing yards on the year. Average five and a half yards a carry, 10 touchdowns. The it has to, Their offensive line is, they're just maulers. They are bigger than anything TCU has seen all year. However, I believed that Michigan had the best offensive line in the nation coming into their loss against TCU. So I... We'll see how Georgia's offensive line holds up. It'll be really, really interesting. Um, but we got it from a quarterback standpoint. Max Max Duggan is leagues better than Stetson Bennett, and I understand that Stetson Bennett has had a good year. That being said, what Max Duggan has done all season long in tough spots, in close games, he is possibly the best football. He might be the best quarterback that Georgia has played all year. Um, Hendon Hooker, damn good. He had an electric season, so maybe you could argue him, but Max Duggan is, without a doubt, at least in the top two. And 
it, it'll be interesting. He uses his legs. He can run. Um, threw for 225 yards against Michigan, who Michigan has a really good defense. Georgia's defense is a step above that even. So it's tough. It's tough. And a lot of people knock on TCU's defense. They are they run a 3-3-5, and they're very opportunistic defensively. They forced Michigan into three turnovers. And going into that college football playoff game, Michigan had seven turnovers through the first 13 games of the season. They were a damn good disciplined football team, and TCU forced them to make mistakes. I don't know if they will be able to force Georgia into the same amount of mistakes because Georgia is incredibly, incredibly efficient offensively. There, it, it's NDE is the statistic. It's net drive efficiency, and it's how good or how efficient they are offensively and defensively. Georgia is the most efficient team in the country. Like they get stops on defense, they score on offense. That is what they do. For TCU to win this football game, they're going to have to be incredibly opportunistic on defense um, because they're going to allow Georgia to score at times. Like that's it's just how it is. They are not some sort of impenetrable wall. Um and th- and that's kind of how it because TCU is going to have explosive plays offensively. They need to take gambles and Hope that they can force Georgia into some mistakes, which Georgia has not made a lot of mistakes this season either. Um, TCU, not as efficient as Georgia in that metric. Um, They're still in the positive, but it's really, it's interesting. And a lot of people may say that TCU, you know, played an easier schedule. They They played, I mean, based off of the numbers, a harder schedule than Georgia. And I understand Georgia plays in the SEC and the SEC is the toughest conference in football, but their adjusted schedule has TCU like ju- just a hair um a hair tougher than Georgia's schedule. So, I think it'll be a really good game. What I expect is for Georgia to rely on Brock Bowers to rely on Kenny McIntosh to try to thump their way down the field, um not mi- not force Stetson Bennett to have to make those tough decisions. TCU, on the other hand, they're going to sling it. They're going to take deep shots to Quentin Johnston. Max Duggan is going to have to move around in that pocket. The Georgia, Georgia's defensive line is so damn good. They're going to be able to get pressure. Michigan was able to get pressure as well, but when they did, they allowed lanes for Max Duggan to run. Georgia cannot allow that to happen, or TCU is going to keep this game close. I think this game is going to end up within a touchdown. Um, if I had to predict, I would say like Georgia 38, um, TCU 31, something in that area. Um, but should be a, a phenomenal, phenomenal game. Both of these teams have really good special teams. Uh, TCU's special teams unit, very cohesive. Um, you saw what they had to do at the end of that Baylor game to come on, kick the the field goal to win it. Um as the clock was winding down, they weren't able to call a timeout. They were out of timeout. So it'll be it'll be awesome. It, it should be a really good game. Let me know in the comments what you got. Or if you are on Twitter, tweet at me, um, at Smash Hit Sports. I want to see who you guys think is going to win this game. I can't wait. Um, from a podcast schedule standpoint, we are two a week um, for at least the next week or two. Um, but now that college football is over, we're going to go back to one a week. The YouTube videos are going to start coming out um, that are going to be like top five moments of the college football season, the best uniforms, stuff like that. Um, we're going to have coming out on YouTube. It's going to be a little bit more visual, so I won't do a podcast for that. Um, but I'm still going to do a once weekly podcast, at least until the end of the NFL season. And then once the NFL is done, we'll get into some different sports betting stuff. Um, we're going to talk golf. We're going to talk college hoops. Um, and really, really get into it, especially as we get closer to March Madness. So I can't wait. If you guys enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe to the podcast or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next one.